Hello everybody, it's Joe, Joe Shrimshack here. I have Tomas with Green Aqua. How are you doing today? Uh, well, thanks for having me. Yes, yes. Uh, I'm good, thank you. How are you? I'm doing pretty good, thank you for asking everything else. So I have just a few little questions that a lot of people might ask out there that may not have an opportunity to go over to Budapest, to go see yep. you guys' store, is what do you think in your eyes is the key to success in this industry? Um, you mean it's business? <laughs> it's an aquascaping. Uh, I think patience. It's one of the it's one of the best things, and and uh, the willingness to learn. So it's like there's always evolution for the hobby, and you have to keep up with it, and you have to accept that you you're not going to be satisfied with your work for the very first time. I think that's what a lot of people miss in the beginning that they they want that perfect aquarium on on try one, and that's not how it works. So. It, for me, it took about two years when I got to a point where I was like, yeah, this, this cape turned out the way I wanted it to turn out. So, yeah, I would say that's, that's the biggest thing. Awesome. And where do you get your inspiration from? Um, well, of course, for me, with being involved in aquascaping as work, uh, I see a lot of aquariums. So I think that's, that's natural that you get inspired by other people's work. And I would recommend that's one of the best ways for, for people who are not in the business, just as hobbies, to get inspired by other people. Not like copying other people's work, although that's, I think that's a very good way to practice uh, if, you, if you try to, to make the same thing. But getting inspired is, is there's a huge difference in copying and getting yes, inspired. Sure. So yeah, I would say that's the best thing. Uh, just look at as many aquariums as you can, videos, photos contests whatever and doing a lot of practicing then too right yeah yeah exactly so how did you get into this hobby in this industry it's an accident to be honest uh i just had the idea that i want a fish tank regular ugly fish tank and uh, i had a friend who i knew had aquariums uh, he was living abroad at the moment and he told me that there is this shop called green aqua go check them out they're gonna help and i entered the gallery i've seen the aquascapes and that just right there in a month's time I had my first full-on 60 piece set just fell into it 100% yeah all right so what has been some of your challenges that you've had to deal with during these aquascapes that you've done for green aqua I am um, accepting failure I'm not really good at that and sometimes things don't go your way it, it just happens even even nowadays we have sometimes issues with with aquariums uh, that you build you do everything to your best knowledge uh, and still algae issues or or something or the hardscape collapses um, if you guys have seen some of my videos you know that I, I line I kind of like the challenge of working against gravity uh, yeah it, it doesn't always go my way uh, but yeah that's that's the challenging side of the hobby and I, I try to challenge myself with things like this. Yes. And I know you guys have a lot of different products out there. You know, you have Denderlay, I do believe you have ADA. Yes. You have a lot of different products out there. Um, what made you want to collaborate with Denderlay for doing some aquascapes and using their products? Um, the way we introduce new products in a lineup is always testing the products and we only introduce stuff that we believe in. So it's like I know a lot of businesses say that, but we, we really want the customers to enjoy the hobby. We want to sell the experience and not the product. And, uh, and, 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 that's how, and then I like fit in that quite perfectly. So How long have you been working with Denderlay with their products? I would say about eight years. years? Yeah, I, I wouldn't sign on this, but uh, yeah, I think, I think about eight years now. What are some of your favorite products that Denderlay does have out there on the market right now? Um, I like the nanocube sets, so we, are, we don't really do sets because most of the sets are not good for aquascaping, they're, they're lacking filtration, lighting, so on. And uh, the, the nearly nanocube sets, they're really well thought through and they're truly good for starting out aquascaping. Uh, obviously not for like high-tech setups and so on, you have to build it yourself, but introducing yourself into the hobby and, uh, and getting experience it's perfect so i would say that's my my top now i know that they're going over and now they're trying to embrace the five elements do you like the fact that they're trying to embrace the five elements now with the whole like light water animals plants and substrate 
Oh yeah, I think it's it's a really good thing when a when a company really goes to the basics. So they're not just like uh, looking at the market and saying, oh, there, there's a place for a new filter and we're going to do it. No, they, they, they see the whole balance. And the thing we do is about balance. It's about the, the perfect balance of all the technical stuff, the plants and everything. So it, it's a really nice way to build up a business and a brand right. around this, uh, the, the balance itself. Now, what do you think is, is the five-year plan for like this industry? So I know a lot more companies are going for more of the clean look, the more natural look. What do you think in the next five years is how this industry is going to look? Um, what I see starting in the past few years, and I think that's going to evolve in the next few years, is that uh, regular aquarium companies are getting more and more involved with aquascaping. And I think that's, that's a really good way. It's really good for us as well, but it's really good for the hobby and really good for newcomers. Because still, if, if people just look into, the, you just Google aquariums, you don't see the nicest things. Uh, and and the, the option for, for having an aquarium is an art form in your, in your home. It's really different. And now the big brands are starting to discover this and starting to build up on this, like, just like Danella does with the new lights, the CO2 systems and so on. So yeah, I think this is the, the, the near future. I don't think there is anything like when, when ADA said you, you can put in CO2 in your tank, that was groundbreaking. Yes. We're not going to have anything like that in the next few years. But, uh, but yeah, just the involvement of big companies is, is really great. Awesome. And then one last question is, yes. if you could give three tips to the new hobbies yeah. coming into the industry, what would those three tips be? Look into it before you start. It's really important. Watch videos, uh, check tutorials, uh, and get a lot of information before starting out. Uh, be patient. Also, just like you mentioned in the beginning, it, 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 it's, it won't be perfect on your first try. So that's really important. Number three. Alex, deal with Alex. <laughs> it's not the best tip for the customers. Um, yeah, number three. I, I don't know. Just plan out your whole thing. Don't, don't rush into things, that's it. That's the combination of the first two. I don't have a third one, really. Well, thank you, Tomas, for go, coming on to the show and everything else. Hey guys, I'm gonna show some videos on here about some of the work that he's done. Check out Green Aqua on YouTube. I'll put all the links right there, guys. Thanks a lot and have a fantastic day.